64, and I'll read it for you. Any senator serious about delivering tax relief for American families and all American businesses cannot, in good conscience, delay action on the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act. Dave McIntosh with us, Club for Growth President. You signed that statement. Uh, and I think you aimed it at the United States Senate and wavering senators there, did you not? Absolutely, yeah. Stuart. It's a tremendous tax bill, not perfect. There are lots of things we would like to see improved with even more pro-growth efforts, but this would be a huge improvement. And you're already seeing, as you pointed out, the market's going up. Mm -hmm. Growth hit a high for three years today. Uh, it's already having an impact as the business community anticipates Congress getting the job done. Yeah, you're, you're right. Uh, the, earlier this morning, the government revealed that uh, we grew at an annual rate of 3.3% in the third quarter. That's a nice jump from any of the previous eight years. But tell me this, what kind of growth rate do we get next year if we get this tax cut deal done? I think we see certainly sustained 3% for several quarters, and I think you could reach 4% or even higher. You know, the president says 4% is his floor. He thinks it's going to go even more than that. Uh, all of his advisors say, yes, that's the president. But honestly, I think we could see 3 to 4% easily for five, six quarters. Um, it seems like we are moving at breakneck pace towards resolution of the tax deal. It's out of the Senate Budget Committee. I think they're going to start procedural debate or procedural motions on the actual debate. Then there's 20 hours of debate in the Senate and then the vote. This might happen by Friday of this week. We're moving fast. They're moving very fast. That first procedural vote is key. It will tell you if there are 50 Republicans that are for this bill. They're negotiating all the fine points to get people online. And the press reports are very positive. You know, there are some things that are being talked about that are bad ideas, the, this trigger yeah. to oh, yeah. get rid of them. But I think they'll realize that, step back and say, let's get a real tax cut done. If we have to adjust it later, frankly, I'm telling them, do a second one later for the small businesses and the pass-throughs who don't get a very good deal. Uh, just come back in a year or two and, and do the good job for them once you've shown that this one works. So, right, if they get the vote and it's a yes in the Senate, then it goes to a House-Senate conference committee. That doesn't take long. And then they come up with some kind of deal that meshes the two. And then they go to the president's desk. It looks very doable before Christmas at this point. What do you say? I think it is very doable. One important day to watch for is the Alabama election. If it looks like Roy Moore is going to lose, that's one fewer Democrats potentially. Mm -hmm. And it'll take a while for the new senator to be seated, but they're going to have to get it done uh, before he would take office. Got it. Thanks very much indeed, David. We do appreciate that. Thanks a lot. I'm going to break in here for some break.